trading missions is a mad cash money. I should try that. Next week I'll try uh, I'll do, try doing some trade missions. So I started this last week and I have uh, middling to positive feelings about it. Um, so far I like it, but uh, it, it's it's a little bit finicky at times. So we're on a tracking mission and we're tracking down this dude. Search. Got some mutton. Not mutton. Mutton is lamb. So that's why a dog goes eat peanut butter. It's you. You're finally here. That dynamite. Oh, no, no. No, child. Come here. To achieve maximum profits when reselling at a bank, melt two down to get a gold bar. Come on. Hang out. I got some coffee still. I got a really good, like, um, I wouldn't say it's a flask. Oh, upgrading weapons. Any copper, silver, or gold nuggets you find or dig up with a pickaxe during your adventures can either be melted down to upgrade your weapons or turned into ingots at a blacksmith's shop. Interesting. Um, I got a really nice, like, um, thermos cup for, for, uh, I almost, I, I actually like literally feel icky even saying the word Christmas, but the holidays then, um, and, uh, it's, it's like wild. I, I've never had such a good thermos cup because it keeps my coffee, like at least warm to hot for like hours. And, uh, I really, I really like it. I like having my, my coffee warm for so long. Old spurs. All right, what's your deal? <clears throat> passenger. Ah, the passenger, you came. So it worked after all. This body suits you. You're on the hunt, I understand. Tracks to find your missing sweetheart. I can show you where they are. When control, when control alt ego, play it before all the Fortnite zoomers start making video essays on how it was underappreciated gem is it still on sale is the sale officially over i did buy wolf stride the sale is now over well that sucks i i didn't buy it um mostly because i had already spent my budget <clears throat> i might send a key request to the dev i follow them on twitter and and maybe they'd be open to Letting me play it on stream or on uh, my channel. What? You didn't buy it. No, I didn't buy it. I bought a lot of games, I'm a fan. <clears throat> Just like a ridiculous number of games over the holidays, and I couldn't justify it. I didn't even buy Cruelty Squad. Cruelty Squad was on sale for, for more. It was only like $11. My uncle has a cup like that. They are great. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Tracks to find your missing sweetheart. I can show you where they are. Don't let the trail get cold. I don't want to suffer through this any longer than I have to. Ask why she's suffering. Oh, you'll understand in time. Why is she calling you the passenger? Aren't we all passengers floating? Yeah, <clears throat> you, you can't call someone a passenger. And then when they ask why, it's just like, oh, we're all passengers. Floating along in life, pointless as a stick in a rushing stream. Ask what she meant by this body. What's a body anyway? An infinite weight, something that traps you here. Um, yeah, that's really annoying. This way, let's not waste any more time. <clears throat> That game is like, is like worth 10 games you bought. I mean, you can't say that though. That is completely subjective. I didn't buy it. Deal with it, you know? <laughs> I'll ask for a key, but you know, it's, uh, it is what it's, it is what it is. This is this and that is that. 
get a close passenger. I wonder what what you'll find. Is she gonna tip her fedora at me? Yeah, I'm a little bit not impressed with that dialogue, I gotta say. That girl. Something mighty off about her. A look in her eye, dead as river stone. Well, at least she pointed you in the right direction. Beggars can't be choosers. Can't believe I, I'm actually disappointed. Well, that's kind of TS, honestly. It is completely subjective, and I bought the games that were appealing to me and were on sale for a price that I could afford. Control Alt Delete is fairly new and is therefore not heavily discounted. I can ask the dev for a key, and I would have done so already, except for the fact that I don't really cover those kind of games on my channel. So it would be kind of an ask for them, and I didn't really want to do it yet. Um, it'd be easier if I covered other uh, immersive sims on my channel before I do something like that. But either way, it didn't happen. And, uh, you know, like, I, I mean, I could pirate it, but I don't really want to do that, and I don't like to do something like that. I like to support the dev, but I wasn't in a position to do so, so I didn't. We ain't y'all servants. We're the still waters. Damn it. For as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, well, these, this dialogue is going by real quick. You've gone and excited my appetite. You there, you have any issues with uh, our arrangement? Not at all. Next shipment will do better, promise. We got our first mutant. As far as I know, though, I'm a 10, the only way you can gift a key is if you buy it from a key reseller, and I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that either. Smells all wrong here. Sirens have been feeding. Let's hope your husband... Oh, whoops. I, th I didn't realize what was happening. Yo, I got really lucky there. This is actually an immersive sim. It is. This is by the devs. Uh, Mimesis, help me out here. What was the other game you mentioned last week? I always forget the name of it. It's got, in my opinion, a kind of very generic name, but um, it's by the devs of Prey. Some of the devs of Prey. Yes, the one I just uh, rage quit as well as um, another immersive sim series. I think it starts with a D. Dishonored, yeah, that's the one. I, something about that name like really hits my blind spot and I just forget it every single time. So yeah, it's by some uh, pretty notable um, immersive sim devs. I think it got kind of overlooked um, and uh, when uh, Crash Bandicoot didn't work out for me, I decided to pick this up. Because I thought it would be fun for stream. Turn off that lamp. I know the way to buy from Steam, but it's a major pain in the butt. I'm willing to go through the trouble. Free the blacksmith. Hey, Jane, get me out of here. Open. Pick lock. Requires lock pick times three. I don't have it. You know what? We're going to turn that back on. It includes me wasting a major amount of time and paying extra. Well, I'll bug the dev. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, I forgot I can uh, knock him out from behind. Uh-oh. I should have uh, moved those bodies. Oops.
Sorry I'm late. I've been awfully busy lately. No worries. Don't ever be sorry. It's all good. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, bot. Um... I, I, I want to preemptively apologize because um, in the next, maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to put up my, my let's try of door in the woods. And, uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry. We can bury this corpse. I guess burying the corpse maybe means that they don't get seen. Oh, he should have grabbed that. We got absolutely pummeled in War Tales. Yeah, we did. I did get kind of destroyed in War Tales, didn't I? That was not great. Yeah, um, <clears throat> a door in the woods is not for me, I'm afraid. And I tried my best, but I, uh, I, I did not find it, um, enjoyable. I'm sorry. Um, again, I, I like to, I want to just remind, uh, people, if I don't like a game that is recommended, <clears throat> don't let that discourage you. You know, don't let, like, I, that doesn't mean I, I'm, you know, I, I haven't written anyone off if I don't end up enjoying a game. I think it, more, you know, adequately, if someone recommends me a game that's, like, clearly a scam, then, uh, you know, I'm gonna, what do you mean, mound cash? Oh, I see, there's a cash here. I really like this game, even if I don't enjoy the perspective. You mean the top-down perspective? Yeah, it's a bit of a change, isn't it? Maybe it's a game you'll more enjoy watching than uh, playing for yourself. Whoops. I keep thinking E is going to be the one. How bad was it from a 1 to a 10? Um... Well, that's an interesting question. Let me think on that. I think a 7. Like, here's the thing. Um, I like when a game is trying something different. I do I do appreciate an experimental game. <clears throat> and I don't necessarily dislike a punishing game. Um, I just think that Door in the Woods is going out of its way to be malicious in a way that I don't find very enjoyable. Um, and on top of that, it also has some pretty, pretty nasty meta progression. As far as I can tell. Now, I will ask you, because the thing is, is I don't know, like, I, I wasn't necessarily, like, I, I didn't do a good job at the game. Like, I was playing it very blind, and I was, I took your advice to heart of, like, trying to manage my sanity meter. So, you know, I was trying to do things right. Um, and as far as I could tell, the only way to gain experience enough to level up was to basically throw yourself at, you know, at bodies like just throw yourself into the game die a bunch of times earn enough experience um that on one of your future runs you could maybe uh spend enough experience on leveling up but the thing i really truly dislike is that once you die once you're done like once you lose that run you don't get that experience back that experience is just gone so you have to kind of grind up experience for a run that you think will matter enough that um you know, you can you can uh, level up a character, but then you really have to make that run count. It has to really count for something. Jane, never thought I'd see you in a bounty ha your bounty hunter get up again. Good timing though. Afraid I was going to end up on a dinner plate. Listen, I saw some of them heading down that well. Maybe you can get the bulge on them that way. I'll meet you back in Grackle. I bet Laura's worried sick. I owe you my life, friend. Now we did get seen, unfortunately. Oh, what the heck just happened there? What the heck just happened? I like instantly died from full health. Okay. Man, if that don't feel a little familiar. Well, okay, it's it, the save was uh, very convenient. 
I did not expect it to be that good. Um, the saves in this game are generally not great on purpose because it's meant to, you're meant to experiment, you know? Ooh, this oil barrel we can carry. Um, I'm, I'm prepared for the paragraph text, uh, bot that you, you're potentially writing. I am also prepared to, you know, um, what the heck? Oh, I guess I was running. That was, that was my bad. I love that. You can shoot a box of ammo on the ground and, um, wait, why? Okay. And it'll, uh, it'll actually like burst out kind of like a, a, a fracture, um, fragmentation grenade. It's really cool. There sure are a lot of these guys around. Something I think about in these kind of games is like, you know, I died, right? I all, I already died and have loaded, um, which means like you know I, you know I'm not omnipotent like my character is not really omnipotent I I am, you know I I am in control here right, um, and you know I'm doing my best but like, the fact of the matter is most people if they were to take on an entire army of bandits like this would die they would die, I mean that's the nature of it right. Um, and I did, right? So, in a lot of ways, when you're playing out these kind of games and you're saving and loading and you're coming back, you're really kind of like playing an idealized version of your character. One who can, like, avoid every single bad end. Every single bad situation or conflict. It's just, I'm not, there's no conclusion here. It's just something I do tend to think about. Trying to shoot that barrel, it's not letting me. I'm, I'm for sure gonna die here. Use bandages. I tried. I tried. I probably was disappointed so much because you gave us a choice between two pairs of games you should buy. Well, the thing is, is that I was uh, going to ask the dev for the key. And uh, I held off on it because, like I say, I don't cover immersive sims. I've played Prey, and maybe when I get Prey up on my channel and see how the numbers go, I have a better um, chance. Like, if I could, if I could put up the Prey uh, Let's Play um, from my streams, then um, you know I have a I have a better chance of like justifying it. It's not even so much like I don't I don't care so much about getting a free key. As I do just not wasting someone's time like you know I, I I'm not I'm not like it's not even a reputation thing it's really just like I don't want to bug someone for a key I don't want to be like yet another youtuber nerd um, just like hey bod can I have free game plus and and just like you know like Bug the, bug the dude. I'm sure they'll be... They, they, they seem like a cool guy. And uh, I'd like to give him more press. The game is doing very well <clears throat> right now. Like, I, I think it's already, um, you know... It, it's all, It's gotten a couple of articles written about it now. Your inventory is full. Okay. I gotta be very picky-choosy about uh, my, my uh, combat opportunities here. Because, like, I chose a moment and it wasn't good. Oh, God. And you didn't buy anything from the second pair. Yeah, that's fair. That's a, that's a reasonable... That, that's a good reason to be disappointed. 
I I prioritized a lot of um, narrative based games that I thought would be really good for stream. Based on what has been successful in the past, I, I prioritize narrative based games, and also games that like I could you know I went for quantity almost than anything else. Okay, that's not a good thing we're doing right now. Let's pick up this ammo. Okay, apparently you can use the toilet in this game. That's a little strange. Ray is kind of well known, and honestly, your prey playthrough is not a very pleasant watch, so take my opinion as you wish. Um, yeah, but it, like, if it, if I post it on YouTube and it has numbers, then that's something like objective that I can then, like, when I sent, when, when I, like, let the guy know like hey i run a youtube channel and i've played immersive sims before and people have actually watched them uh then like i can show them something you know objective right <clears throat> rather than just like hey i'm a youtuber and i don't really cover any immersive sims and i have never historically run you know done any immersive sims um but I i'd still like to cover your game because it looks really cool uh you know I hope you, I hope you, like, you know. It's something, like, it's it's literally anything, you know. Can I, yeah, I can climb this. This is cool. I've got verticality in these games. Nothing in there, huh? Can we do, attach rope. Go down. Interesting. Once open, windows can be aimed through to reveal the inside of a building. You can also roll through a window to quickly infiltrate a building. Santa Claus roleplay. <laughs> That's very good. There's a trap door here we can go through. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Uh, amazingly, that didn't alert, like, literally everyone, because that would have been dumb. Um, can I take this chair? Can I, like, block this these up with the chair? That'd be kind of cool. What's up, cat? Sorry, dog. What's up? I feel like dev would lo love any press on their game because how well no that that's been that's what I'm saying it is it is getting press uh, like PC gamer put it on one of their like top 10 games you should find out about or something like that like I'm not, I'm not you know it can always get more. Uh, I'm not saying I'm not gonna cover it because it could use more. I'm just saying that it's uh, it's no longer in undiscovered status. I would say I'll do what I can. I'm gonna I'll, I'll uh, like I, I I'll, what I'll do is I'll wait till I can get the the prey the prey um, playthrough up. I feel like I need to. Let's uh let's maybe smelt some of this stuff down. Can be upgraded at a blacksmith's forge with two copper. Can we melt some of this down? I thought there was a way. Oh, scrap weapons. So we what we should do is like pick a weapon that is good for us. This is the one that's equipped. This is equipped. Oh, what's this Black Mountain Widowmaker? Oh, that's a shotgun. Currently, we have a what? Oh, we already have a Black Mountain Widowmaker. Okay. So let's go ahead and scrap weapons then. Scrap all unequipped weapons. We got a bunch of stuff for that. Nice. I'm sorry I made you play a horrendous... No, no, no. That, I'm not saying that, but... 
I'm not I'm not saying that you know I'm not even saying that the game is bad I, and I, I really don't want that to be the take I just you know it's not not for me and you know I'm still glad I tried it it was on my list and you know like this is in no way like are you uh, no 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 blame is being doled out for you like I really don't want that to be a takeaway crazy bastard out at Bell Farm shot me with my own gun can't stop the bleeding I'm just hired muscle. The siren shit's too much. Stillwater let me down here to rot and get fed on. Got to get out of here. Need a mess of bandages. Help me out? I got some rarities I could give you. The man at Bell Farm. That Shelby character took a real shine to him. Said the prettier, prettier they are, the better they taste. Hope he bites. Shelby's... Hope he bites Shelby's pecker off. Give him the bandages. Thank you. Kindly. Now, deal's a deal. Let me show. see your map. Here. There, hid some rare items in one of them graves you might like. It was the grave of someone named Thomas. Hope you can get out of here. Hope I can get out of here before that siren gets back. Thought I was gone on the ebb tide today, stranger. Hope I can return the favor someday. You healed his wounds. Friend for life. Helping folks in Weird West might earn you friends for life. Friends for life can occasionally intervene in desperate combat situations and save you from imminent obliteration. Maybe I work a bit too much to, to play games. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stained cloth. Nails. Got some good stuff here. I'm a little bit concerned. I, I guess there's a siren. I'm gonna save the game. I feel like this is a bad place. While regular door wooden doors can be destroyed easily with most weapons, reinforced uh, doors can only be damaged by taking taken down with dynamite. During your adventures, you may also encounter unbreakable doors. Even dynamite can't bring them down. Uh, an unbreakable door, so you'll need to find a key or pick the lock. Um. We could use dynamite. I'm a little bit curious about what's over here, even though this seems and feels like death. What do we got in here? Donald Villa Villalobos. What's this on the ground? Amulet of the Virtuous. Is this villager dead? Ooh, chest. Coinage. Iridescent dust. Can be resold at a general store. Oh, what was that? Oh, just a carcass. Apparently there's a siren somewhere. I'm noticing red dots uh, behind this uh, door on the map. I'm a little bit curious about what this is. Yeah, I mean, door in the woods, uh, it's an interesting idea. It kind of reminded me of CDDA in some ways. And in fact, I, I do make reference to CDDA while I'm playing the game. Uh, obviously it doesn't have nearly the same level of depth of survival as uh, CDDA does. Um, but it's still uh interesting and it's it's got some it's got some interesting stuff going on i um i wanted to like it i really did i uh, i just um uh, yeah meta progression ends up rubbing me the wrong way and in a very horrible way um and i've never really encountered it too often in a uh, traditional roguelike so that was odd Okay, we're gonna ride out of here. Discovering new territory during your journals, journeys on the travel map, you'll cross and reveal new uncharted territories. If you're lucky, you might discover secondary locations. Visit one of these unknown territories if you're on the hunt for new adventures, fame, and fortune. Okay. Might also encounter areas you're not prepared for yet. Blacksmith home safe. That found, blacksmith found their way home, kind-hearted of you. His wife says she's got something for you. If you find your way back, okay. 
I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's go back to the blacksmith. We got Brush Creek Farm. Uh, we only get to we only get one ride with a stolen horse and then the horse leaves us buying a horse might be a good idea at some point Man, I, I like that my coffee is warm today, but this coffee is awful. Wish I got my memory wiped on CDDA and learned how to survive again. I became so adept at surviving CDDA that every single playthrough goes the same way. Have to get out of my way to have fun. <laughs> have you, like, quote-unquote beaten the game, I'm a 10? I'm curious. Oh my god! That should not be so easy to do. I just like absolutely punched. I wonder what when my quick save was. Man. Where am I? Oh man. Uh oh, this isn't too bad, but it's still bloody annoying. One button talks to them and the button directly next to it adjacent to that is is a button that punches them and therefore angers everyone next to you What does this do? Uh, while equipped deal additional damage if you have a very low reputation. Oh interesting. What'd you say, bot? I'm interested. I'm interested. No, like, yeah, don't, don't worry at all. Like, seriously. Absolutely, like, no hard feelings here at all. And like, like I said, I, I was, I was going to buy a door in the wood. Um, like, regardless of your recommendation. Did your recommendation uh, spur me to, to bump it up the list a, a bit? Yeah, but that's fine. That's totally fine. I mean, it's a traditional roguelike. And to be um, pragmatic for a moment, if you'll forgive me for being a, a little bit pragmatic, um, covering tradi traditional roguelikes on my channel, good or bad, is, is good for my numbers. It is. Um, people tend to want to see me play a traditional roguelike. And, you know, I, I don't tend to cover too many games on my channel that, oh my god, that I don't like. Like, I tend to like a lot of games. Um, so I'm actually kind of grateful to have one, you know, a couple on there that I don't like. And uh, especially if it's a traditional roguelike, because here's the thing, like, traditional roguelikes, I, I do like them. But even if I don't like them, there's um, kind of like an unspoken you know deal i make which is that uh, i might it might be that i don't like it but it's mostly because i don't understand it you know what i mean traveling merchants okay i i guess i avoided them i didn't mean to press that button i'm pressing a lot of buttons i don't mean to right now I don't think we can ignore the fact that the only good game I've ever recommended to you was uh, Hunt Down the Freeman. I believe it, it says something about my game taste. Hey, I'm very grateful for Hunt Down the Freeman. That's, uh, Hunt Down the Freeman is responsible for some of my favorite moments on stream. Don't, don't feel bad. For real. There are other, like, honestly, but, um, there are other people who have recommended me games that I like that I resent more. <laughs> um, and I'm not talking about anyone in chat. I'm talking about people I've known in real life, just, just for the record. Jane, my Joseph, you brought him home safe, and here I thought you were, there were no more kind souls in the world. Here, take this, a quill and medley spirits touch. The family's prize revolver, and if you ever need to upgrade any of those, 
Also, that's not true, but you, uh, you, you bought, didn't you buy, um, Chasing Titans? That was like a really good, that was a top-notch game. Didn't you also do, um, No One Lives Under the Lighthouse? That was also a top, top-notch game. So I, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. Those were both you and they were really, they were really top-notch. Um, hold on. I, alt tabbing from this game is tricky. I really like this. I really dislike the main branch of the game because they doubled down all the elements I disliked in the first place. I really hate moments when you need to sit on your ass and read books for, for days in a row. Here, take this a quill and medley spirits touch the family's prize revolver. And if you ever need to upgrade any of those weapons of yours, bring my husband some ore. He'll make those irons sing. Nice. Let's save so I don't accidentally kill someone. Um, my reputation is up. We can forge. No ore to smelt. Requires some identical ore nuggets. I have beaten the game. I was a cyber supersonic samurai at the end of the game. I actually beaten the game in Bright Nights branch of cataclysm that has an ending hmm right i forgot about bright nights i kind of wanted to try bright nights i get the impression that it would be much the same experience as the one i'm already i already did is how do i do this i don't know how to do this i'm dying i'm dying i'm dead this revolver feels Bad. Why would they give me a revolver with like less damage? Yeah, this is why um, This is why I appreciate it when a game just tells me uh, the DPS Like just tell me the DPS don't make me figure it out This magazine there's more mag uh, bullets in the magazine the range is medium Attack rate is lower. This one is attack rate fast. Just tell me the DPS. Portable re relayograph. Tuned to receive messages while on the road. Can't transit. Transmit replies, unfortunately. Hey, we have iron slag. How come we can't melt this down? Can be resold at general stores for cash. I don't really want to scrap this weapon because I might move back. I don't have any silver. Um, I don't believe I have... Uh, I don't think we have a general store yet. My favorite moments of the game. Also, uh, thanks. Sorry, my message are... I'm multitasking a bit. Is this, this place is closed. Yo, there's a hopscotch on the ground? That implies someone is having fun in this world. Recruiting companions. Saloons in the towns you visit are often great places to recruit mercenaries and other gunslingers. If you have some extra muscle, build up a good reputation and folk might even come to you. A couple extra hands in your posse will increase your damage output. Uh, I wonder how controlling multiple people in this game works out got a preposition for you i'm the best bodyguard this side of pig eater bog it's your lucky day because i'm up for hire 100 dollars. i don't have that you ain't gonna find a better deal well i don't, I don't know i i don't have any money so okay let's travel to secret stash to search for hidden cash Uh, favorite moments of the game is when you clear a whole facility room to room with your favorite rifle. Swapping maps from your rig. Dropping empty ones and letting ammo from bodies refuel your rampage. Is there a general store here or what?
One thing I like about main branch is bleeding system. That's all. The game's still in heavy development, right? I guess it's nighttime. I should like rest until daytime and then maybe I can sell some stuff and buy some stuff. We could also play. I can, I can pick up whiskey. It didn't count as a. Welcome, my friend. I assume you're into cards as I'm, I am. We play poker our own, our own way around here, though. Are you familiar with the house rules? Sure. $50 buy-in. Initial bet is $5. Then we reach, uh, each get a single card. That's it. If you think your card is better than mine, you can bet high, my, mid or low, depending on your level of confidence. Or you can fold if your card is real shit. Then I will either match, raise, or fold myself. If I raise, you can have the last words as if you call or fold. Uh, need more money. So there's a card game in this. It seems really simplistic. I was kind of hoping for, um, like something a bit more poker y. Some world building there. Um, uh, looking for a place to sleep. Yes, I am. How come I can't talk to you? Uh, this is a like just a kind of a UI problem, but it shouldn't be this difficult to to talk to someone. I, I like I'm trying to like I don't I don't know what's going on here. Enjoy your stay with us. I don't know. Maybe I just go upstairs. All right. Hope you rest well, Neville. All right, I'm knackered. Gonna turn in early tonight. Good night. Good night, Neville. Take it easy. All right. Let's see if we can like buy a gun or something. Oh, there's the general store is open now. Let's check that out. Would you like to buy a safety deposit box? Really? That's like a hundred percent not helpful. Um, oh, okay. General store over here. Would you like to browse our goods? Browse goods. Um, sell all junk. There we go. Finally, we have money. Sell this bone. Sell some of this meat. I'm not selling my wedding band. I, I I don't like that that you can sell your wedding band. I know I said this last week, but I want to maybe like um, explain a bit more. It really reminds me of Fallout Four, like something that really pulls me out of Fallout Four when I when I started playing it is the fact that you can like you get in the game and the first thing you can do basically is uh disassemble your baby's crib which just seems like highly inappropriate like this is the whole point of the game right it's the whole story and i know it's a sandbox but i do think that at a certain point it isn't what you add into the game it's what you take away and i think that if you give the player the the right kind of boundaries then it makes for a more immersive experience than a game that just lets you do anything you want. I, I don't like a game that lets you do whatever you whatever you want without any consequences, or at least without any mechanics to kind of like bolster uh, uh, against certain things. Like maybe encourage certain uh, moves or discourage other kinds of moves. I'm not saying disallow them. And in fact, the, the discouragement could even be a, a form of encouragement. But a game that just lets you do whatever you want I feel like it just it, it ends up making for a very bland world. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is like a literal sandbox. It's not a world; it's a sandbox, and you know, do it do it the, what you will with that. 
You're technically pilot this person. You are not this person. This is a mecha game. Talking to someone is hard, judging from my experience, really realistic. Known lieutenant of the Iron Bellies, wanted for the death of the last two deputies, last seen Big Sky. Okay. Let's just take one of these. We gotta, we gotta figure that out. We could steal a horse. So this is Big Sky. Capture or kill Justin Adams at Big Sky. Um, search Greenwood, run for your husband's whereabouts. Was I not done here yet? Wanderer trading outpost. Then wanders peddler of nymph relics, elixirs, and occult uh, ephemera of all kinds. Have set up a trading outpost in the Ridgeback Wilds. Give them your business if you want, but don't come crying to the law if you, if them magics backfire on you. you here. Secret stash is up there. Wanderer's outpost is over there. Talking to people is hard. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I, I guess it was a built-in mechanic where it was made intentionally hard because our our character in the mutant west was uh, is has been given uh, social awkward tendencies. Socially awkward tendencies. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I, I buy it. So we're still here and we have to find ourselves um, evidence of her husband. What's happening? Something is happening. Oh yeah, there's a uh, a mutant out there eating something or someone. Passenger is the person who is piloting this woman. It's not a spoiler because it's shown at the beginning of the game. You personally don't have any attachment to that ring. Oh. Um, okay. All right, I guess I'm just like 100% wrong about it. I appreciate, I appreciate the clarification on that. Well, then, you know, okay. Not to nitpick, but why is it that when the one person who we were talking to who knew that about us, um, like, was extremely vague about it and, and not helpful. Are they dying? We got some good stuff on, on the zombie. I, I really appreciate that there was like infighting, like the Stillwater goon also doesn't like the mutant zombie. Can we like bury them? It doesn't look like we can bury them. What happened to our shovel? You can even rob your parents' graves in the town. You get cool loot. Huh. Okay. All right. That's actually pretty cool. I, I gotcha. It is a, I mean, it is a justification to basically let the player do it at whatever they want. Huh? Oh, there's another plague zombie. It seems to me that this place has got some uh, zombie problems. That person doesn't really exist because if you shoot at them, they do magic crap and poof out of existence. How would you describe this game so far? Just wondering since I haven't really fully understood this game yet. What can I say? It's weird. Big Bang Theory laugh track in the background. Bazinga. Um, I mean, it's an immersive sim and uh, it's, I will say this, is it's a game that has stealth mechanics that I don't hate. 
I tend to not like stealth mechanics. That is to say, it's, um, you know, it must be fair. I am not good at stealth in games. Um, you know, very much uh, 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 illustrated by my Prey playthrough. Um, but I also, like, personally speaking, I often find that um, stealth mechanics are, are usually done in a very restrictive way. You have to do certain things in a certain order or else you get seen. You know, like, you have to walk over here. You have to, like... Stealth games tend to be very... Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Stealth games tend to be very, like... Um... What? Broken shovel. Oh, no. Uh, limiting. You know, like, they tend to really want you to do things in a certain way. Um, I think that immersive sims are... You know, they, they do kind of tend to break the model a little bit um, because you don't have to play stealth. And I do appreciate it when it really is you don't have to play stealth. Uh, like, I, I can't... It, it honestly bothers me more in some ways when a game is like, you can play run and gun, but really we want you to play stealth. Oh, excuse me? Okay, well... You know what? Fair enough. I really uh, called that upon myself. Oh, God. I wonder if my rope is still here. It is. Can we carry this? We can throw this. Hmm. I don't like that left click is to carry. It's going to make things a little bit difficult. Check this one out, bud. Yeah, just stand right there. Just, just stand. What? Really? I can't really snipe off the roof, which is a little bit disappointing. Wow, those uh, those explosive barrels really didn't just uh, they they really did just kind of like take that fire on the chin, huh? Oh. I've almost killed everyone. Not that that's necessarily the goal here, but, you know, it's something to do. Where... where is the dude? Oh, he's right there. Well, this door is barricaded. And now there is a second dude. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Let's, uh, let's deal with someone else that, a little bit easier and let things settle down a bit. Oh, that's a zombie. Okay, I, I don't really want to deal with a zombie right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying this game so far. I, I don't, I really haven't even like seen the the bigger depth of it, but it, it plays like a more like an RPG than it does like a, a Prey. I guess Prey was kind of RPG-ish, wasn't it? It's more like an RPG sandbox than it is Prey. Prey was kind of more of a, a linear um, choose your method kind of game rather than like, you know, choose your destination. You had options in Prey for sure, but I really need to be looting these bodies more often. Yeah, we got some good stuff. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that was kind of ne neat. Oh, that, that was a water barrel. Critical. Nothing saying we can't just do some good old fashioned combat to take out some of these guys. So I think that's pretty much everyone now. Empty bottle. I don't know what those are for. I wonder how this game would differ. One of my favorite bits in SS13 is to play a mime and do unholy magic and spaghetti code exploits about Bazinga and follow up with no one will believe you. Mimes are unable to speak. I did play a mime once in um, SS14 and it was a pretty good time. I actually like mimed myself into also being a janitor. Or and I, I talked to uh, the person responsible for handing out jobs and I, I, mime, I mimed a mop and they're like, oh, you want to be a janitor? I'm like, yeah, nods head. And then I was uh, being a janitor and a mime but I was being an unhelpful janitor because I was basically just miming out the janitor janitorial roles, which was pretty good. But I still had like I had the janitor janitor's like uh, outfit, and I was like mostly I was carrying around the bucket, but I had an invisible mop. It was good. I I enjoyed. I wonder how this would differ from uh, if it was a from a first person perspective. I don't think it would differ all that much. In fact, I have a feeling that's there there I have a feeling there's a mod to make this game first person. I think there is. I don't know how I would enjoy that to be honest. So, I'm supposed to find something here. I don't know what Uh, did I get a key for downstairs, I think? I think that's what it is. I got a key for downstairs. So we're going to go downstairs. Check out that key. There is a first person mod. Yes. I find that to be very strange. I don't know how I would, uh, I don't know how I would enjoy this in first person. Kicking objects. Press F to kick that chemical poison barrel toward your enemies and create a toxic trap. Chemical spills are highly unstable and will explode if they're set ablaze. Nobody fights like a still water. Yo! That was pretty good. That's a good way to introduce one to toxic barrels. Hey, Viddy, how you doing? Those were definitely all words. I will say, uh, not to be a total jerk, but I am enjoying this more than I was enjoying the, the new Crash Bandicoot game. I am, like, probably in the honeymoon, like, uh, vibe for this game because like it could go south so quickly that's kind of you know like the only reason i played so much of prey is because i enjoyed a lot of it and then i you know eventually i just didn't uh you're think if you you've outclassed your enemies for good think again most fo fo foes you'll encounter in the weird west have even more formidable variations which you can identify by the insignia that appears near their names when you aim at them the more insignias, the deadlier the enemy. The presence of a crown on the insignia means the foe is the local gang leader. A target of choice, uh, as gang members may flee if they witness their boss being killed. Okay. I'm assuming we're about to encounter exactly that. The leader. DK. He's the leader of the bunch. something something coconut smells so yeah this is the, the leader um we do have some more barrels Let's 
seems to me we are meant to, to do something here. Um, I wonder if I can throw something. Flashbang. Wildfire cocktail. Bone. Is there... Can I not throw something? Let's take everything here and then kick this barrel. Just to just to get their attention. What is SS13? I'm getting interested. SS13 is um it's an interesting one to explain. It's kind of like if um Among Us was the most complicated game you've ever played. But not really. Um it's kind of like among us we're in like there are secret roles but at the same time everyone's got their own role to perform and it perform like the your space station is more of like a uh, a living breathing thing like there are things that need to be maintained so there are engineers there's power that needs to be maintained so there's like you know people who manage the power shoot ouch give me a second here There is a mechanic called plate stacking, so when I play a clown, I make unholy plate stacks of plus 500 plates that block the whole screen. Fun stuff is when you drop that stack. Um, eh. Why am I on fire? Yo, don't do this. Stands on burning corpse. Is surprised that they are set on fire. Yes, I know. Simple bearskin vest plus one. Okay, let's see if that will be better than what we're, what we're currently wearing. Um, nope, it's the same same business. See you, Mimi. I gotta go now. Have a good have a good night, Mimi. Uh, I should have a stream on the weekend. If I don't see you then, then I'll see you next week, maybe. Have a good uh, weekend either way. Take it easy. Is that Jane? It is. And you're wearing that your irons again? Spirits alive. I'm saved. You gotta bust me out of here. They're uh, they're eating folks, Jane. Swear to it on my honor. Ask about your missing husband, Alonzo. So how is it that if we're not actually Jane Bell and we're in fact a passenger, um, you know, m piloting Jane Bell like a mech, then why do we even care about her husband at all? Good man, taken in grackle just like me. Good Look, the Stillwaters keep their communications on all shipments in the safe over there. You'll need the combination. Lucky for you, I have eagle eyes and was able to figure it out. Get me out of here and I'll give it to you. The cell key should be around here somewhere. Inventory full. Let's go ahead and scrap our weapons. Maybe not this one. Uh, I wish I could like select it to not be scrapped. Like scrap all unequipped weapons. All right, whatever. It's fine. New pistol, copper sharp is quick iron. Wait, you're a mecha? I am. Breaking the game and ultimately crashing the server is a true clown gold. Jesus. You came back for me. I know you would, Jane. You grab what you need from that safe to find your husband. Combination 05, 0451. Do you think they're going to show that to me when I go to put in the code? Give these still wet water bas bastards some lead poisoning with them irons, you hear? 0451. 
Okay, yeah, I don't even have to put it in. That's nice. Limp relic. Oh, we, I think we use those to upgrade ourselves. Can be consumed to learn new class or weapon abilities. Encrypted relayogram. Text is indecipherable, but scrawled on the bottom in hasty pencils a list of names, including that of your husband. We got some money. Big iron on her hip. How come we're walking? Is it because we're like close to encumbered? Uh, I think so. We might want to. Okay, let's equip this Stubbs barrel. It looks to be the same. In fact, it is literally the same. Okay, so let's just go ahead and disassemble it then. Oh, this, uh, copper weapon is actually better in some ways. Oh, we already equipped it. No, we didn't. 22, magazine 12. It's the same gun. Okay, let's just go ahead and scrap our weapons. Alright, that puts us in the, uh, acceptable encumbrance. Why are we still walking? Did I, like, accidentally hit a button here? Oh, yeah. It's caps lock. Okay. What's your favorite torn Tom Lair song? Mine is probably the Professor song, since it reminds me of a friend of mine. Um, I really like the math song. It's one of my favorites, just because it's so clever. But, I mean, that it's, like, it's, it's, you know, really dated now, because no one even knows what the heck he's talking about. Crackle's back in shape. General store, guns shop, relay office, all back in business. And the bounty board's up too if you need some coin to make it where you're going. Come on back if you need supplies. Um, probably, uh, I, I really like Poisoning Pigeons in the Park is one of my favorite songs. Um, it was the first song I heard of Tom Lair's. What the heck? Stealing horses. Looks like the Stillwater's backup arrived. Need to get out of a sticky situation. You can always steal a horse and ride away. Okay, well, um, luckily I had a shotgun equipped. Dang. Okay, we get out of here. You seem to be low on HP. Time to set up camp. While on the tra travel map, uh, travel to an empty space call by using C to make camp. I don't really want to do that because this horse doesn't belong to me. So we're going to go to Grackle. A hive disturbed. Oh, God. Things are going from bad to worse. Haven't you hit a button to walk? I probably did, yeah. Defend yourself, violence. I like this music a lot. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, we have a friendly intervention from our friend here. Oh god. He's the, the, the bees. The bees. No, the bees. Ah. My friend is not okay right now. Oh God, he's dead. Ah! Oh my God. Uh. Oh, 
God, that was that was rough. What the hell is happening here? Well, we got uh, we have zombies in this game. You see, um, this isn't just the, the Wild West. This is the uh, the Wild Wild West with uh, you know. I always thought it was Robin Williams in the Wild Wild West. I was very surprised recently when I found out that it wasn't Robin Williams. Oh man. I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to bury. Why? What is it with these devs and their obsession with making one button serve two functions? I really don't like that. It's just such a dumb thing to do. Don't make your don't make one button serve two functions. I'm using a PC. I, there's more than one button. For the love of God. Where is the other zombie? Where's the big, big, big bad zombie? Horse carcass. I don't think I really got anything from that. I don't think it was worth it. We have a barrel here. Oh, okay. Some ammo. I mean, that doesn't make it worth it, but you know, uh, of course, everyone knows the history of mathematics. <laughs> No one, no one knows what the heck Tom Lair was on, is on about. Is, is now it's. Oh, I didn't realize that this turns into a map at the edge. That's actually really cool. Nice little touch. I keep flip flopping between like, wow, this is really cool, and wow, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> Hunting grounds. Now we want to go to Crackle. I'm gonna lose my bounty. Uh, didn't don't know if I didn't hear you. Sorry about asking it, but have you played Gloomwood? I have played Gloomwood. I like it a lot. I'm waiting for uh, more of it. It's very. It feels very early right now for Gloomwood. I know it's an early access game. I'm not complaining. It's not a criticism. I just, I just want. I just want more. You know. I, I'm I'm hungry for more of that that Gloomwood. Cursed wind. Oh, will you heal me? Need some medical attention? I can fix you up for a price. Got medical supplies for sale too. All right, heal me. Browse goods. Uh, I could use a bandage, sure. Invigorating tonic. I, I'm good on that for now. So they 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 will buy ore. I don't really need to do that. I need to talk to the general manager. What is this game about? I just felt like the carpet got pulled out. Um, yeah, I mean this is a it's a Wild West kind of um, mutant scenario. There's mutants, there's sirens, there's all kinds of like um, semi fantasy things thrown in this world. It's an immersive sim, so you can play it kind of like however you want. You can play it with some stealth. You can play it with some action. It's cool. I'm enjoying it. Sell all the junk. What can we use a lockpick? Rope. Required to climb down wells and other heights. No traveler worth... Okay, yeah, let's buy some rope. That was actually really helpful. Ain't just veins of ore. It's good for cracking. Can be equi equipped as a melee weapon. I'm assuming this is going to be useful for getting ores, primarily. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Lead poisoning was discovered in 1940, and hearing characters in this setting say, give, me, give him some lead poisoning is very immersion-breaking. Well, I mean, uh, who, who's to say that this is in our past? Is my, my very uh, garbage way of justifying it, but to be fair, uh, we are dealing with a fantasy se uh, you know, setting. So I, I don't know. All right, we have five days left on this. I wouldn't mind stealing a horse or buying a horse. Maybe, maybe we could buy a horse. How much is a horse? This looks quite great, not gonna lie. Was it released this year? Um, well, I think it was, n no, <laughs> it's 2023. I, uh, I'm pretty sure it was released last year.
This is the Undertaker. Where would one buy a horse, do you think? I'm sure there's stables. Kind of wish we could, uh, I could zoom out the map a little bit. Actually, let's see if we can't buy some clothing. If you have a, don't have it, what you need, try our camps in the wilderness. The dagger and bones will always got, always got the best. So they've got clothing and ammo and stuff like that. I am pretty good for ammo. Skinning tool bag, huh? No use in combat, but you'll need it to skin your kills on the hunt. Allows the skinning of deer, bears, snakes, and bison. This seems very useful. Um, I, if, oh yeah, we can do bow and arrow in this game. I forgot about that. That seems really interesting to me. Um, I'm going to see how much a horse is. Probably we can't buy a horse. But if I, so if I can't, I'll get a skinning um, tool. Actually, 1950 through 1970, we still feel side effects of some jerks putting lead in gasoline. I, I do know about that. One guy basically killed like half the world. Not half the world, but he has like a, a kill count of a ridiculous amount because he was like, hey, you know what sounds like a good idea? Lead in gasoline. I've got, okay, so I have to look at the horse first. 280. I figured it was going to be a lot of money. I was hoping it would be less than that, but that's fine. We're going to buy a skinning kit in that case. And that way, hopefully we'll make a bit of money on the, on the, on the road. Monte Clasp. Jane heard about your boy, them bastards. I'm itching to kill me some still waters. How about bringing me along? How much? Oh, you can just come with me. That's kind of nice. This posse's going places. Talk to your posse members at any time to check their inventories. Order them to equip a different weapon or dismiss them from your crew. Companions will equip and use any vest and bandages you give them. Don't panic if one of your companions falls in the battle, though. The Weird West is full of dangers and you can always recruit replacements at the saloon. Well, I, I kind of would like like it if they were a bit if they were smart about it and uh equipped their own stuff i don't really want to have to play inventory management for um you know multiple characters a hey, blacksmith dude uh, i thought you would like help me upgrade my guns it's fine We all have known the dangers of lead for a long time. Back in the late 1700s, Benjamin Franklin remarked on the dangerous characteristics of lead. So this fellow is like reverse Genghis Khan. Um, I guess so. It's a weird way of putting it, but yeah. Welcome to your friendly re relayograph office. We'll send and receive relays of all sorts. How can I be of service? Decrypt the relay. Now let's see here. Where in the seas did you get something like this? This is some serious encryption. I can decode it, sure, but it'll take a while. 250 at best. Uh, ask, ask how the relay system works. Power of light in itself. Transmitter, receiver, we tap the code. The person on the other end translates it. There you are. Instantaneous communication across vast distances. Thanks to all them buzzing airways. Of course, if you have a portable relay, you ain't, you ain't even need to be at a relay station. Those lucky few can receive messages on the road. Little antenna wind up crank. Can you imagine? As a newfangled as they are expensive. You sure? Promise you I got the skill. I used to decrypt relays for cleric Franciscus himself, you know. Um, well, no problem, miss. You just let us know when your local rayograph, uh, rayograph office can be of service. Makes it even better that the main reason lead was used instead of ethanol was because you could patent and profit off using lead. Yeah, as I understand it, um, the guy, it, like, you know, you, you can't really use ignorance as a as a justification for putting lead in gasoline because it was pretty well known that lead was not a good thing. Do we have to press C? What's, what's the deal here? How do we move? It's not letting us move. Play, pay a clerk to decipher. Well, I don't have the money. So I have to do some bounties. Ah! 
I guess I have to go to the edge of the map. That's a little bit annoying. No reason some cowgirl with a medical degree talking about poisoning. Meh. Brush Creek Creek Farm. Three days left. We're just barely going to make it, I think, on this bounty. Uh, a strange woman waits for you as if she knew you'd always come. She always knew you'd come. Okay. This is probably going to be bad news. What were your favorite games of this of last year? I actually did a video about exactly that. I can post it in chat if you want, or I can just um, kind of kind of go over it. I have, I think I have the list open. Give me a second. I can open it up. Uh, where is my apps notes sticky notes? Yeah, I've got I've got my list here. How do you know that girl isn't a physical specializing? I love how um, whenever it comes to like th this this detail in a game is unrealistic. There's always some like outlandish explanation for like why it's actually totally fine. What does a witch have to do to get someone's attention? Dance. Howdy, Jane Bell. Is it? Look at that. Guns on your hip. Ten gallon hat. Convincing. Ask who she is. The bounty hunter. Looking for answers. Very in character. Love it. Now, I've got to say, you look distressed. Have you lost something, perchance? Tell her about your missing husband. Ah, uh, yes, the missing husband. Now that's caused to feel distraught indeed. A real tragedy, if I do say so myself. Speaking of human dramas, I'd love to know what makes you tick. Let's imagine a hypothetical. Picture this, you come face to face with a woman who's done you wrong, and I mean very, very wrong. Life crushing wrong, and you've been searching for this woman for days, weeks, months. Then you find her, you're all set to take your revenge, but before you do, you learn the truth. She had a good reason to do you wrong. You were cruel, punishing. Truth is, you deserved what she did to you. So here's the question, this woman wronged you terribly, but you deserved it. Now, now you found her, what do you do? Um, ask for forgiveness for your past cruelty. Forgiveness, eh? Not what I expected. Well, my curiosity is satisfied. I'm gonna let you go now, but before I do, take this. It's a box, but not just any box. Keep watch over it for me. Later on down the line, I'll ask for it back. In the meantime, keep it closed. This is all I ask. This is where we part ways, Jane Bell. Remember, no matter what, do not open that box. Farewell now. We'll see each other again real soon. Oh, yeah? All right. I'm not going to open it. Consider me boring. Would you have heard cows if you had such an education? Check out the church in the town if you didn't already. I didn't. I have to do this bounty. I got the I got the list open here. Um, my top my ten ten games that were good from uh, 2022 that were not Vampire Survivors or Elden Ring were uh, Gunlocked, which was like Vampire Survivors, but I actually ended up playing for longer than Vampire Survivors. Uh, Cosmo Tier, which was a space sim, top down space sim. War Tales, which I just finished playing a round of um, on stream. Vault of the Void, which is a deck builder. Sorry, I'm a ten. Uh, Adaka, which was a half-like, a half-life-like, um, Stacklands, which I have various Let's Play series of on the on my channel, Strange Horticulture, which I am planning on doing a full playthrough um, for stream at some point, War Sim, which was a really cool little um, ASCII-based kind of uh, Crusader Kings-esque game. It's not really like Crusader Kings, but it's got a little bit of 4X in it. Um, Old World, which is like Crusader Kings and is a 4X game um, and is a bit more like Civilizations. And uh, the last one was Dwarf Fortress, because how how in the world can you not put Dwarf Fortress on the list? 
Call it call me boring. I didn't put Elden Ring or Vampire Survivors on my list, but I did put Dwarf Fortress on my list because how could you not? Um, we have equipped right now a shotgun, which is not loaded. Check out the church in the town. Okay, we can't sneak in there. Our dude, I don't know how much our dude is going to help us. He can see us apparently. No, he could see me apparently. I've played a few of these. I think Cosmeteer was like my biggest, like, nice surprise of the year. I really, really enjoyed that game. The fact that it has working multiplayer and the multiplayer is really good um, was a was an unexpected treat. And I I have a I really love immersive like not immersive sims sorry uh, space sims, but I often find that they compromise like fun gameplay in order to fulfill some of the more tedious why can't i punch this guy oh i'm holding a lamp apparently they compromise some of the fun of a of a space sim in order to like check a box i've had this discussion on stream before but yeah i find that a lot of space sims are kind of tedious okay so what the heck happened there Okay, that was pretty good. I haven't played the Steam version yet. Dwarf Fortress is a delight, but it is a lot, a lot of work. I can understand that. Um, I think, for me, that's what makes it um, makes me so like uh, excited for it, because I think that some games that feel like work just it just means that you haven't found like the fun yet. Um, sometimes the game just is work, you know, like sometimes, like I know people that, uh, really, oh my God, dude, are, are you like seriously okay? Stop running in the fire. Stop it. What are you doing? Um, just, wow. Uh, some games just end up being work. Like I know people who just really didn't like Elden Ring and nothing will like change that you know they, they just they're not, they're not gonna find what is what what people like about that game and that's totally fine sometimes that's just a preference right um and like yeah i can understand like at a certain point um you know i've been thinking about rim world and I'm like you know i, I kind of miss rim world having played door fortress door fortress is kind of making me want to play rim world in some ways but like i feel like that's just because i'm not yet fully grasping Fully grasp it, uh, the you know the the, the me deeper mechanics. Like, there's no way that Door Fortress is a is is a less deep game than Rim World. I'm not gonna say shallower game, but like, there's no way that D Rim World is deeper than Door Fortress. It's just like I haven't I haven't yet figured out. I haven't unlocked what Door Fortress has to offer yet, and that's what like it really that's that excites me. You know. Can we we can shoot that lamp. Uh, I kind of wish I had a way of like throwing a rock or something.
this is a, a fairly like in-depth um mission considering it was just like a, a just a bounty ink pen flannel bag nothing golden ace of spades these mysterious artifacts can be used from your journal to acquire new perks really Uh, oh. How do I do it? Is it like, oh, I see perks, huh? Neat. So, um, there are things in this game that lead me to believe that Jane Bell will not be the, uh, the last character that we actually take control of. Like, we're following her story for now. But, uh, you know, there's certain things that, that the game says that make me believe that eventually when we finish her story, um, our whatever, whatever it is that's, that's controlling her will move on. Hey, here we go. This is why I took, took this. There, there are real Einstein haters out there. Let's uh, back up a little bit. My dude, you are gonna get us caught. Oh, actually, can we search that body? Yeah, there we go. Riddle about three cows jumping. We might be able to uh, knock this guy out as well. If it were up to me, I'd just kill the varmint. Yeah, well, we're doing it my way. Let me quote Einstein was an inept and moral <laughs> declare. Wow, there's spicy things going on in chat about Einstein right now. This was a fairly easy, uh, easy one because we can just like do these guys one at a time. This guy is making me concerned. Okay, we're gonna have to back up. Actually, um, let's use this ability. I haven't really done that one too often. And I'm gonna go ahead and put another one down. And so when one person walks back and sets it off, the other person's gonna come running in and set the second one off. See, that's using your noggin. That's using the big brain. Kinda like the, the music. I can't really call it music, but I like some of the stuff going on in this game. Einstein was an inept and moronic person, declared one historian. He contributed nothing to science and couldn't tie his own shoelaces. Do not support this because I basically don't know much. But also due to his political views. Please explain further. is not doing so well inventory is full let's go ahead and take care of that right away oh, oh, oh. 
Oh god. Okay. That went really well. Lock picks. We got some lock picks. There's still more left and our friend is not okay. I'd like to help him if I can. Talk. Oh, first aid. Here we go. Best keep an eye on the cemeteries. Okay. Eyes open. First aid. Okay, you're good to go. Let's quick save. Ouch. Okay, okay. That was kind of close, too close for comfort. Cluster dynamite. Inventory's full. Let's go ahead and take care of that again. Uh, I don't know if we've killed our bounty yet. Apparently this bounty has a lot of people working for him. Oh, we've got some more silver. Nice. He was both Jewish and a socialist. Of course, he got a lot of flack. Ah. That, that explains it. Not to just, like, completely, uh... You know, disregard any potential, um, like, arguments or, or like, criticisms for uh, Einstein. If it, it was, it, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm willing to hear it. But, like, that certainly buys a lot of, uh, I wouldn't say forgiveness, but explanation of criticism. Okay, we're running out of inventory space. Parents telling their kids that Einstein had bad grades in school to make their kids and themselves feel better. There's a lot of false info on him. Yeah, isn't there like uh, some kind of like, I wouldn't say rumor, but like myth that um, Einstein didn't know how to read. Um, if there's a campfire nearby, I should cook some of this food. I'm not sure if I... Did I manage to find my bounty? Rake. Handful of splinters. Head starting to rust. Can be resold. I don't really want to, like, bother. Can I mine this? game's got a like a real kind of borderlands vibe but you know without the dialogue someone's gonna give me a uh, flag for that maybe but i'm allowed to not like the borderlands dialogue no water to drink i'm not sure if i killed my bounty or not claim your bounty oh i did i did kill him I like your funny words, magic man. <laughs> That's one of my favorite lines. What is that from? He said that things uh, don't move towards the ground, but rather that the ground moves towards things and also that space time is relative. Uh, a lot of people that are liked today are very controversial at the time, like MR MLK Jr. was generally disliked. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't know if I want to comment on that one. But uh, I will say that generally speaking, uh, or at least historically speaking, uh, socialists tend to not be liked. I am I'm not a very good debatist, so, uh, you know, we can eat the fruit. Let's eat the fruit. Eat the fruit! I have to say, I am enjoying this game. It's, it's, right now, it's a very simple kind of fun, but I, I like that. I like, I think the only people who liked Borderlands dialogue have never heard dialogue. Ah, I'm not gonna say that. There's, there's reasons to like Borderlands. I mean, I like the gameplay of Borderlands. I I really like... I like Borderlands 1. I think that Borderlands 1 has some, like, still genuinely pretty good dialogue. And actually, I think that Borderlands, the pre-sequel, is pretty good. Sign of the Stillwaters. They'll never stop. Not until someone puts an end to them. Oh, God. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I just like I thought that Borderlands 2 was kind of a travesty. That's her. The bounty hunter has been making trouble for her family. Can't we make her bleed before we bring her in? Just the little boss won't notice. Oh boy, I don't like the look of this one. Just let's just kill her. Defend yourself. Why are you, like, all the way out there, my dude? My dude is, like, determined to die. It's a quote from Clone High from JFK. Ah, yeah, that, uh, that, that reads. Okay, I really need to do some inventory management here. I probably oh you know what let's uh is there a campfire here there seriously is no campfire wow okay uh i'm gonna drop something drop some of this junk i want this ammo and i want this gun Why is it going up though? Hey, didn't I pick up the... Why didn't I pick up the chemicals? The tonic. Where is the, where is the chemicals? Oh, okay, there they are. I'm in a very tricky situation here. I gotta play some inventory management. I want the tonic. Why? What was that sound for? There we go. We can grab a horse. Fortunately, these guys brought horses. Oh, there's a dude here. He's probably got the cell. That's not bringing that sickness around here. I can't thank you enough. They was going to eat me. I'll try not to get caught again. Yo, friend for life. George Cox. What the hell? F in John F. Kennedy stands for Fazbear. Yo, I learned something today. <laughs> I like your funny words, Magic Man, is, I think, one of the best lines ever. I, ever, I haven't actually watched much of Clone High. I should. Who's that? Oh, 
Uh, we have another one here. Could take it. Oh, there's only 20 hours left on that. I don't, I don't want to take one that's about to expire. Again, it's like really hard to talk to people in this game. I didn't see your husband yet. You find anything yet? Show the encrypted relay. You found Stillwater Communications. Floods, you're quick. You'll need a relay clerk to decipher it. Guess them bounty hunter instincts ain't all gone yet. Okay, but I wanted to get my bounty here. Hope it wasn't any trouble. Here's your reward. We got we got that money. Also, I only got 80. I thought it was 100. Let's go sell some junk. It's actually Fitzgerald. What? What? I thought it was Fazbear. You had me believing it was Fazbear. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. I was ready to believe it was Fazbear. Oh crap, my game is about to start. See y'all later. See you, I'm a 10. The, the stream isn't going to last for much longer. It's almost done. So you're all good. Thank you very much for joining me and hanging out. I'm sorry I disappointed you. <laughs> I'll see if I can't uh, re redeem myself. Uh, let's sell a shovel. Let's sell uh, one of these pickaxes as well. Sell a hammer. And yeah, I don't really want this bone. I don't want all of these bones. So how much money do we have? I have... 136 coin. Uh, yeah. That's fine. So we got some new bounties. Uh, we got one new bounty. Dennis Henderson. Known to be a ranking member of the Iron Bellies. Last seen in cold comfort. Alright, well, uh, let's call it here for now. Uh, I am really enjoying this game, actually. Uh, more and more. I, I really do like the uh, the sandbox like kind of feeling of it and I do like that uh, you know you, you can't just like do the next story mission you gotta like do a little bit of uh, grinding a little bit of exploration get to know the world get to get get a feeling for how the world works before you can like just you know power through the story I do I do appreciate that um, that's gonna do it for the stream I hope y'all had a good time um, check, uh, check out after we're done here. Uh, I'm going to put up the next stream for the weekend. Um, probably tonight at some point. 